Hi everyone, welcome to this PSP Tutorials series. Today we will be learning about PSR. PSR is abbreviated as PSP Standard Rules. So from the side PSP FIC you can see that there are several versions of PSP PSR Standard Rules which is PSR 1, PSR 2, PSR 4 and PSR 2 is deprecated now PSR uh, 12 can be used for extended version so uh, this is PSR uh, 12 uh, rules and this one is the PSR 1 and this one is PSR 4 for autoloading purpose so let's see how this PSR rules actually works in the code base so how can you follow the PSP standard rules in your coding? So I have listed here the some of the key points and I will try to navigate those in our code base. So in the PSR1 it says that class name must be declared in studly caps meaning that first character must be at uppercase and following the uh, other character like here the user class where u is uppercase so this is PSP standard rules class constant must be declared in uppercase with underscore separator for example if uh, in any case we need to declare constant then uh, we can use it with uppercase for example const we can uh, write like this and uh, for uh, separating word we can use underscore so we can type user type equal to for example admin so this is the use case for class constant method name must be declared in camel case meaning first character will be smaller and camel case then like this so here g is small and n is capital letter so this is the standard convention for name space and class name uh, they must follow the autoloading of psr4 pure psr1 class name must be declared in study caps which is uh, I mentioned earlier for class constant it should be in uppercase which is there and for method which is uh, must be in camel case so I hope you understand the class and method uh, rules and regulation for PSR1 now we will move to PSR12 which is standard extended coding style rules which is appeared uh, instead of PSR2 so it says that uh, code basic should be implemented PSR1 so what all code should be implemented PSR1 and then with the following other rules of PSR12 so for files we can see that PSP files must end with a non block blank line terminated with a single LF line fit meaning that at the end there must be a, a new line for standard practice the closing tag must be omitted from the files containing only PSP so from a file where only the PSP exists no HTML is there then we should not close the PSP tag here like you should not write this so instead you can omit it and for lines we have uh, some short uh, length limitation which is 80 character and and uh, soft uh, length might be 100 character or 80 character is better 
but if you have uh, more character then you can have uh, several 80 characters per line there must be trailing white space at the end of the line blank line may be added to improve readability and to indicate related code block meaning that if we have a if or else statement then we can have a blank line or we can have a blank line to explain that that part is a separate code or block there must not be a more than one statement per line meaning that you should not uh, do it like this here you see that you uh, we have assigned this name and we should not like another uh, like name equals uh, John uh, at the same line so it suggests that there should be on line on a statement per line code must be intent use uh, an intent for for a space of is intent level must not use tab for intending <laughs> So in different operating system or in computer, uh, there might be a setting, for example, tap width can be set. So it is um, better to use space. So for a space is standard. So you should use uh, for a space instead of tap. So you should not uh, just to press for a space. For control structure, there should be uh, one space after control structure keyword and there should be one space between closing parenthesis and opening parenthesis so meaning if we have like this if this name uh, we can set a condition like we if uh, we want to check that if name is empty or not so we can do something like this here uh, we have uh, defined that closing bra brasses uh, is this on the same line for opening bracket and there is closing bracket and there is a space in between the method closing brackets and the meaning the if condition and the opening curly braces all binary arithmetic comparison assignment bitwise operator uh, must be proceed with uh, uh, at least one space meaning that if we want to say like this and for example uh, this name so uh, not equal uh, empty for example so in that case uh, you see that we have a, a place on a space here and another space here so it say that at least one space should be provided so uh, thank you for understanding i hope you have got some understanding how to make our code base cleaner and uh, and uh, how how can we use the psr uh, namespace and there is also uh, some rules like uh, for namespace uh, there should be uh, the namespace should be at the top of the file and there should be a new line brace for after the namespace and there should be uh, on a line break after the uh, use statement so uh, those rules can be found in other place like psr1 or uh, psr4 so hope you understand uh, those uh, tutorial uh, and uh, my example code base thank you for understanding see you in my next episode